Alright, uh, today's plan of attack is kind of go out that direction, <laughs> out towards the reef. Um, today's going to be kind of a shakedown run. So I want to make sure all my stuff is up to par. Uh, fish finder's working, GPS, so that's a big plus after it's been sitting for two months. The outboard, I filled it up last night getting ready and then uh, I guess a float or something got stuck in the carburetor and it basically flooded out the motor. I lost about a half a pint or half a liter of gas went through the motor just sitting there. So I had to break that down and rebuild that last night. So I'm kind of doing a test drive on that. The good thing about it is I got the, um, the new spark plug and getting to mess with the idle, I got it down so I could just barely trick along where last time I kind of had a fairly high idle. So this is perfect now for slow trolling, bump trolling. I think the first step is I'm going to hit the patcheries for a little while just to see how the weather's going to be. It's still blowing 15 knots out of the north northeast. So even though it doesn't look bad here, it's kind of because it's blowing over the uh, keys. So it's, the wind is getting knocked down, but then as you get farther out, there's less blockage and then you get the full effect. So I'm just going to go out to the patcheries, three, three to four miles. Um, that'll get me some ballyhoo at least. Uh, as this colder water, colder air temperatures come in, the larger fish like the grouper, mutton snappers, uh, mackerels and stuff will start moving inside the reef chasing all the uh, bait that's coming in, the, the pilchers, ballyhoo, herring. So uh, it's kind of worthwhile to not necessarily have to go out to the uh, blue water. But anyways, that's the plan of attack. So uh, we'll see what we can do. So as you can see, it's not the most pleasurable day out. I mean, it's not horrible. It's definitely a day you gotta get out, especially after having like a month of straight 20 and 30 knot winds. So I'll take it. Yeah, definitely not pleasurable. On an average day, I probably wouldn't be running out here. Well, change of plans, I think. I don't think it's such a good idea to anchor up in this crap. Plus, I really didn't bring any bait, so I'd have to try to throw the cast net. It's definitely not so easy in this slop. So, I think I might just do some trolling. Maybe uh, pull some spoons around and see what I can pull up. It's just a little too sloppy for anchoring up. Definitely would not be fun. definitely should have uh, stuck with the bridges it's very much not pleasant out here you know I caught something it's dinky but get the skunk off I think it's still on maybe I snagged a Yay! Lizard fish on a trolling plug. Wow, that's a score. I think that's one of the grand slams. A beauty. Well, I just caught this little cereal mackerel. There was something big chasing it. But I'm gonna take this one home with me. That'll be a good eater. Another hook up. What 
we got. Oh, geez. Man, I am just killing the trash fish. Woohoo! Man, just killing it today. Dude, what are you doing? Of course, I stuck them really well. Man. Ah, beauty. Beauty. All right, got something better this time. I'm just basically trolling in a circle because there's a big school of uh, ballyhoo. They're just getting busted on by these uh, mackerels and uh, barracudas. This feels like a little bit of a nicer one. No more trash fish, please. got it's got a little bit of a green to it looks like the mackerels oh let go son of a yeah that was another mackerel how did it get off that's bent but holy crap Got a small hit on my trusty old uh, Missouri. Wow, nice yellowtail. Holy crap. Nice yellowtail. All right, plan C. Uh, this is actually my first time out here for a while, so I'm going to do a little scouting, see if there's any pilchards around. If I can get some pilchards, then I'll, uh, I'll even go anchor up outside the channel and drop the chum bag and have some live pilchards and at least create some action. I think it would be actually pretty decent, but it will be based on uh, finding some pilchards that I can use as bait as well as uh, live chumming so we're just going to cruise this flat see if we can spot anything so looks like a no go on the pilchards so I think I'm going to default to uh, plan D which is go home uh, pretty rough day out there today I think tomorrow is supposed to be better, so I might do a longer run tomorrow. I got some stuff I want to work on tonight on the, the fishing stuff. But uh, I'll go home and uh, cut up that cereal mackerel, kind of do a half sashimi and half pan fried. So that'll make up for the day. So anyways, thanks for watching. All right, here's the end result of that uh, cereal mackerel I kept. Uh, we converted part of it into some sashimi. And I'm gonna serve that with some kimchi, lemons, wasabi, and uh, some soy sauce. Then of course we went with this tried and true quick and easy pan fried in uh, butter, garlic, topped with a little bit of uh, green onion. Um, a couple of carrots with some uh, brown sugar and the good old white rice. So that is our conversion for our workout today.